First time ever doing this. Finally got the side by side. I think there's enough ice. Hopefully. <laughs> there's 12 inches at least. Uh, a lot of spots had 14 inches. Um, just a bit nervous. I've never done this before. We should be good. Well, we drove it all the way out here, maybe about a mile. I just bought this side by side maybe six months ago with the intentions of bringing it out here, but it's been such a warm and mild winter so far, we haven't had the chance. But finally, here we are. Um, like I said, we're about a mile out from the car now. We're gonna find somewhere along the shore here and start fishing for our first spot. All right, first spot is 43 feet of water. Let's see what we can do. Not marking anything yet, but 43 feet of water. Yeah, buddy. try over here opposite side of the lake we were on that shore over there before now we just came across we're on a big flat here which i like this is 50 feet of water and we're quite a ways from shore so just a nice shallow flat see if we can find some lake trout Well, everything is completely frozen, so it's all gonna get grilled before we put it on the taco. We'll grill the onion, we'll do a little grill action on the avocado, same with the pepper, obviously, and the lime, because <laughs> it's frozen solid. Got one? Real man, real man, real man. Let him feel. Put it down, my goodness. Whoa, he's stuck. <laughs> nice brown. <laughs> Very nice. I literally just put it, down. it down. I was wow. just putting the bell on it and I was like, did that just move? First fish of the day, I was just cooking lunch. All right, I got a pound and a half of marinated flank steak. I'm gonna throw on the grill and we're gonna make some tacos. All right, I have two pieces of this. I'm gonna do one at a time so they can stay warm. We don't have to cut it all up. They're gonna cook so fast anyway. Some chimichurri. That's good. <laughs> Brand new part of the lake, probably like a mile, mile and a half from where we were cooking. Um, we're in 44 feet of water. We're pretty much just gonna go all out for the lake trout now. We got about two hours before the sun sets. Uh, we might fish a little after dark, we'll see. Um, but yeah. So it looked like you were chasing after it. Oh no, here he comes. We've been marking a bunch of them. They're just being really finicky right now. They'll chase us up and down the water column, but they just won't hit. We'll see though. I need to branch out next time I come and go to a different spot. I've been coming here since the first time I came here, I did really, really good. So I've been coming here ever since, kind of chasing that and it's just gone downhill slightly every single trip. So it's all right, I just need to try a new spot. Um, we only had you know a few hours out here to begin with. So it's not like we fished all day and got skunked, but the main, the main priority was just testing the waters with the side by side, seeing how it would go without uh, chains or anything. It really did just fine. We kept it in uh, four wheel drive low and uh, yeah, no big deal. Snow was a bit deeper upstream, but yeah, it did great. You know, we took it real slow, wanted to drill holes. So we spent a lot of time just making sure everything was going safely. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Soon enough, we'll take that thing out camping, um, be able to pack a lot heavier and go to totally different spots that we've never been able to camp at before. So stay tuned for that, subscribe for more and thanks for watching.